Nobody goes away with my money. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome for another video. So for today's video, I have a story time for you, which is not normal, I guess. I don't do them quite often. But let's just say that for today's story time, we're in for quite the ride. So buckle your seatbelts and let's just get started. Okay, so this year, I think it was like February or March, I was at school with my friends and we were like on a table discussing and some one of us came up with the idea that in summer we should go to like a farmhouse or a penthouse together so that like you know spend the weekend together and I mean we were all down for it and instantly we started searching and we found the school penthouse in the north and we all agreed that we would book there and we just booked okay so up till now it was like that so from now things have already been looking a little bit sketchy so after like a month we booked we receive a message from the i don't know like the owner i guess saying that our booking is not valid and we were like shook to the core because i mean we we paid money and we we make sure we booked and the owner told us that the reason for not being valid was because the um, order for the penthouse was made by one person and the payment was processed by another person and i mean come on i mean it, okay it could be our fault but i mean just you have a pending payment and have a pending word i mean one plus one equals two quick maths and some of us were like maybe it is a scam maybe we shouldn't like reorder and i mean we had fell in love with this place honestly it was like so cool like how we wanted it and we just said okay let's just re put the payment in and we'll see. So we resend the payment and reorder the house and now everything was perfect and we were just waiting for the day to arrive. It was in July, so we booked like five months prior and finally the day arrived. But a week after we had to go to the penthouse, we decided to go to this area because we rarely go where this area was and we wanted to see like if there were like shops around there or the beach was closed and I had all the address and street information and house number and whatnot written and we were like just following and we were looking for a building that had a blue front okay the picture on the website was showing a building with a blue front two doors and two um I don't know like glass windows thingies on the side bitch where okay so hi this is future me editing the video right now and i've just realized that the front of the house is actually brown not blue but surprise surprise i am colorblind so <laughs> i see it blue but my friend just told me that it's brown so just to clarify okay bye continue so we arrived we had to walk a little to get to this street and we were searching and there was no house with a blue front I was confused, maybe like, maybe we mix the street or maybe we mix the place and I don't know. So like, we were searching like the street before it, the street after it, the street behind it and the street in front of it and I mean, to our surprise, nothing. So we went like a few blocks away and looked around and started seeing like other blocks in front of us and we, may we were like maybe this is our, where we're going but the windows were a little off or this is where we're going but the door wasn't glass you know we were seeing all of these blocks and nothing was matching to what we had ordered so we had this contact number of i think the owner which by the way we were advised to call only for emergencies but for us this was an emergency so i sent him a picture of the front we found where the blue front was supposed to be and i said hey like we're looking and is this where are we supposed to go now at this point my frustration level was already increasing so let's just put like a frustration meter like over here so you see how i managed to cope with the situation by the end of this because it gets quite hectic let's just say that okay so at this point like maybe i'm over here frustrated okay and i'm sending this message and it gets delivered and gets seen and we're like okay let's wait for him to write back to us and then we'll act to our surprise which actually we weren't surprised at all he didn't reply 
and I was like, okay, so something is definitely going on. Then we tried to call him, nothing. He just picked up and he said that this number is for emergencies only, contact through the website if you want to tell us something. And then we contact through the website. And the website tells us that this listing is no longer available. Okay, no big deal. So we just found a place where we could like eat and sit because at this point we made all morning searching for this place and with the buses and like uh, until we got there it was like too much. So we found this place and we ordered food and we sat down and I was examining a little the, the photo that was on the website and I see that on the door there was written something in like a very very faint color. It was like almost camouflaged with the with the front and I saw like a block name so I went on Google and wrote that name and I said and I put Malta after it and this other block of apartments came in which was the new block we actually found there and it was on a totally different name it was a totally different front it had like totally different windows and I said to the others like guys like something is definitely happening and I explained what just happened and then I went on the website of this new block and I found the contact number and I said, and I just called them and I said, hey, I could, could you check if I have a booking with you for next week? And she said, like, yeah, yeah, give us just the name and the ID card and all of that. And I gave them our information and she said, I'm sorry, but you don't have any bookings. And okay, at this point I was slightly more frustrated. So then the lady asked me when I booked for this apartment and I said like I, it was March or February and she was like okay so calm down I don't mean to fright you with what I'm going to say but I think you've been frauded and I was like frauded is this a scam and she was like okay calm down but in February this block belonged to someone else and we got it in the end of March and this person who owned that owned it before us didn't proceed his bookings to us and he just went away with the money and i was like oh my god no. nobody goes away with my money he was like okay calm down there were there are two other families that the same thing had happened to her to them and she said that they called him and they arranged him and said, okay i'm gonna call him then so i called him from my phone and i didn't even say hello at this point i was like only seeing flames in front of me and the others were like oh my god what's happening what's happening and i told them everything and i called him from my number i didn't say hello i didn't say nothing i just said i know what you're doing we want our money back and that man just hangs up on me okay what's your problem i said let's go to the police and we'll give him his number and everything and my friend was like before i go to the police like let call him from my phone because if he sees another phone he might pick up and just like, okay, yeah, okay. So my friend gave me his phone and they called from there. And he said, I know you frauded us. I know this is a scam. We want our money back. If we don't get our money back, we're going to the police. And he was like, okay, okay, send me the pay the bank information and I will send the money in five minutes. And I was like, okay, great. I will send them as a message. And I hung up. And then we sent him a message with the bank information. And we were like lost at this point because we didn't know if he was really going to give us the money. So about five to 10 minutes after, we got a message from our friends saying that the payment has been in. And at this point, okay, so like, my frustration level was up here. At this point, just instantly dropped, okay? I was like, okay, thank God we have the money back. Then I called the new lady that owned the new block of apartments and I said, hey, we got the money back. Um, is there a way that you can book the apartment for us in the same date? And she was like, yeah, yeah, it's totally available. And I was like, okay, great, we need to book it. And then we went there, okay, it was a really good fun weekend and we enjoyed ourselves. But I mean, all's well that ends well, right? So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my story time. If you want more story time, just leave a comment down below, let me know. Push the like button if you like this video, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.